Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, before we call all the students, which means all of these people have been to excellent schools, which we try to encourage as much as possible, I want to do a very special thank you to the Film School Consortium, Shirley Luchuk, who uh, heads that. Yes, absolutely. And a lot of the educators, the people that helped form these students are here tonight, so thank you guys for being here and encouraging uh, your students. Uh, we want to acknowledge, it, uh, acknowledge sorry, every film. Uh, I'll call every director to the stage and uh, we'll meet every one of you. Uh, for Basic Space, uh, Karian Mamburkett. Maybe I'll, I'll keep going. Uh, for Blink that you just saw very recently, Miles J. For Bramula, the cat vampire, Sarah Rotella. She's not a cat vampire, I mean, Sarah. For the dimming, it picks out Friesen. Yep, on the way. For Fat, Margaret Donahoe and Jillian Good. For guilt, Sarah Warren, who might or might not be here. I'm not sure if she made it. She was on a film shoot. I guess she chose making money over us. Oh, diva already. Um, for Leash, Kevin Doherty. For my name is Mitch, Michelle Yoon. For a film that I'm sure puts you at ease, not worth mentioning, uh, Martin Kostler. The very last film you saw tonight, the very powerful Paso Doble, Jamie Metzger. Second last, a Shuffle Kings, Chris Aitken. And finally, for yearning, Walid Nesif. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. We, of course, love you all equally, but uh, maybe not so much. Uh, now on to the prizing. We are awarding uh, two prizes tonight, one for animation and one for live action. Uh, the jury was comprised of three film professionals, uh, Ruben Ada, filmmaker of Cairo Time, uh, which was her latest feature, which was a TIFF uh, a year ago. Uh, the Globe and Mail journalist Guy Dixon, who's here with us tonight and who will introduce the prizes. And Alan Harmon from the Directors Guild of Canada, the BC rep. Um, the winners in both uh, categories will get an industry pass to TIFF 20, uh, 2011. Yeah, a pass from last year. It's great. Great prize. Uh, yeah, sucks to be you. Um, <laughs> and, <laughs> A th from 2011, and uh, $1,000 from the Directors Guild of Canada, and an opportunity to be a, a guest blogger for us at TIFF this year. Now, the live action winner will get a 35 millimeter blow up um, provided by Technicolor uh, Toronto, and the animation prize will get, uh, winner, sorry, will get the complete animation workstation by HP Canada, courtesy of Arc Production. So, I would like to bring all the reps from these fine companies that are very generous with us. So Hans, uh, Hans Engel from uh, the Directors Guild, Sari Schwartz from uh, Arc Productions. Yes, sorry. Hans, are you there? Yes, okay. And our friend James Kretkowski from Technicolor. The stage will collapse any moment now, so. America's Funniest Video on the way. Um, and I would like to welcome one of our jurors who saw the films and voted on them. He's totally responsible for these prizes, Guy Dixon. Hi, thanks so much. Um, thanks so much for asking me to do this. Um, I just thought these were great. Um, given that I actually write about this, I've been writing about sort of uh, short films and Canadian films for like a decade now or so. Um, you know, I really hope to be writing about a lot of you uh, in the next little while. 
But I mean, I think just watching the program, I mean, all your diversity, um, if you can just continue that as much as possible and just never actually be what they tell you to be. <laughs> um, all of this kind of uh, the uniqueness and your unique approach, just go with that and emphasize that more and more. Um, that's how you'll get in the Globe and Mail <laughs> for what that's worth. Um, but really, uh, that's what this, that was the strength of this program and I think that's uh, what you just need to keep doing. So the prizes. Um, this is, of course, you know, prizes mean give it what it's worth, but someone has everything. to win. They mean okay, everything. Okay, someone has to win. Uh, so for the best animation, uh, best film animation, um, it went to really just an absolutely fabulous, accomplished tale of uh, sort of a really old mythology, and it goes to Episuk Friesen for The Dimming. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. And then for best live action, this is tough too. Because um, again, uh, it was such uh, completely different films. Um, so it was actually really tough. And apparently the different judges, I, you know, I've never actually met them, uh, chose completely different films. But uh, the one that actually did tally up to the biggest scores was a film that actually probably has the most, if it actually goes to in the theater, it'd probably be the most expensive um, uh, for the rights for the, s for the soundtrack, would be uh, Miles J's Blink. <laughs> and again, thanks so much. Thank you, that concludes 2011. Thank you for coming out and we'll see you hopefully like this weekend at the Lightbox. <laughs> Thank you.